Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in again. So this is um, the fifth day, yeah, of my uh, promotion of my uh, EP Heartstrings. And each day I'm telling you a little something about the backgrounds of one of the songs. And today I'd like to share some more information about the track My Love Came to Dublin, um, which is a cover. And um, in particular, a cover of this song by June Tabor. I don't know if you have ever heard June Tabor, but I can really recommend it to you. She is the most amazing folk singer. Uh, she has a very, very deep, soulful voice that just gives me goosebumps. And especially the soulfulness with which she sang this song really really um, made me want to play it as well and this track is the first one of the album which is actually on viola da gamba my my bass viol um it's a duet with coca roman on harp it's it's the viola da gamba and the harp together is i think really lovely um it's it's simple but the 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 low instrument and the high ringing sounds of the harp, they really have, I think, a, a very, very complete spectrum together, um, which makes it really complete with, with voice. And uh, I, I'm posing on the cover of the album with my seven string uh, viola da gamba um, very proudly. Um, but this is, this is, the song where it gets most of the spotlight um yeah so it, it it gets to shine most in this song and so a long time ago i started on violin when i was eight my mother came to me and she said what do you want to play you're eight after all and i said well harp or violin and in in the end it became violin and when I was about 13, my mother, she went to the conservatory to study recorder and ancient music. And she came home with uh, a bunch of CDs. And some of those were from uh, a Renaissance and Baroque group called Fretwork. And they play Viola de Gamba concert, vile concert music. And, you know, that was just it for me. I thought the sound was so exactly how trees would sound if they could sing. It was, yeah, to me, the, the color of tea, very warm, soulful, comforting, very clear, almost meditative, but also so playful and with so many enticing layers because concert music is very polyphonic, you must know. It's Elizabethan music from, uh, um, well, I like I like the the music from the Elizabethan era uh, the most. So you're talking composers like Gibbons, Holborn, um, also John Dowland, of course, um, William Byrd. Yeah, those are about uh, my favorite Robert Jones. Not sure if he does concert music especially, but I fell in love with that music and um, I wanted to learn to play this instrument. And my mother did too, so we both got one. Uh, she got uh, the, the bass viol and I got a tenor viol. And we played for a long time in a Brock ensemble. And when she passed away, I got her, her bass. And um, this instrument has kind of opened up also my my world for me. I got to be in bands and travel to places because I play this instrument. And that's such a gift. And yeah, it's so it's like this instrument has taken me on a journey, uh, literally. And I really feel like it's not known enough. It should be celebrated more. Uh, the historical music and the instrument itself. So I'm really, really happy to have this niche where I'm a singer songwriter on a bass viol. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, 
there are others out there, um, but not many. And I'm just so happy to have found a way of, of uh, bringing through my own voice in my music. I don't play guitar or piano, uh, and this is, instrument is not the first that comes to mind when you're thinking of a singer-songwriter. But actually I'm getting more and more versatile on it and writing more songs on it. Um, but this is the first song on Viola de Gamble that I actually recorded. And the reason I chose it is because of its soulfulness. The, the, the song My Love Came to Dublin tells about a woman. It's, it's sung from her perspective and she's waiting at a river for her love. And as the, the refrains and the couplet unfold, it becomes clear she's been waiting for a while now and that he's promised to come back, but he hasn't yet. And he left when the leaves were green, but they're turning brown now. So will he come back? And will he actually marry her? Um, will he come back with her name as she sings? And the story, the ending is open. So you can, you can decide for yourself if it will happen or not. But the, the story makes, it, makes you suspect that she might be pregnant. Um, and she might be a woman who has been left, but it's also very hopeful. So it's, it's hopeful. It's about, again, love, this deep resounding love she has for her love. Um, also a trust in him, but also, it's also about sorrow and, and actually, um, sitting with that sorrow and holding space for that love and sorrow at the same time, and that hope, believing in that love, and believing in the dream of that love, and I find that very beautiful, whether, you know, regardless of the outcome of the story. Um, yes, that's that vision of this love and that dream that is being looked forward to and mourned at the same time i think it's i think it's beautiful um so yeah so that's what i wanted to tell about this song it it derives from um, an old folk song called the mantle of green and it was adapted again by june tabor and i've almost used the exact words um but i did credit her as the source and yes for me at the time it, it was a song that resonated a lot uh, but it's it, it still does it's quite slow I, I was afraid at the time it would be too slow but I also liked it it takes the time to tell the entire story I, I like long ballads that tell an entire story and it turns out you can dance a mazurka to it and people actually enjoy doing that so it's wonderful it's wonderful people like this song even though it's slow and not catchy but that they appreciate um the atmosphere of it so thank you to all the people who let me know that in the past um yeah i'm also very happy to, sh to share this song with you in a few days um I think that's all I wanted to say but you can always ask me questions if you want I will link in the comments below the original because you should you should hear that that's amazing you should listen to June Tabor anyway you know uh, but I hope I've added something beautiful with with the version of me and Coca um, so that's, that's for today that's all for me um, tomorrow I hope to make a small film for you from the beer garden in Kalsberger. Who knows? And I'll talk about Fox Skin, which is the hit single of my album. And that song actually also refers back to autumn and the stories of my world. So I hope you will like that and tune in tomorrow too. See you.